I recently got this message from at TS8 Lemonade. Hey Doug, I'd like to see a video about the Tone Master Pro's flanger mono, the Boss BF3 flanger. I own an actual BF3 and I love it. With all the knobs set to the middle, 12 o'clock on a clock face, it produces a lush, swooshing, beautiful flanging effect. There is also a small volume increase when engaging the actual pedal. However, the flanger mono on the Tone Master Pro seems to behave wildly different than the actual pedal. When all the knobs are at half, it does not even sound like a flanger, lacking that distinctive swoosh. Rather, it sounds more akin to a chorus or vibrato effect, and the effect is very subtle overall, while the BF3 is very pronounced. One reason this seems to be is because the rate knob acts much different than on the actual pedal. On the Tone Master Pro, when I pull the rate all the way down to the lowest value, 0.1, then it actually sounds like a proper flanger. At a rate of 0.1, it sounds fairly close to the BF3 at half on the rate knob. The BF3 can then, of course, go lower, producing long, drawn-out swooshes, while the lowest the Tone Master Pro can go is 0.1. I've largely just been using the electric flanger because I can't quite figure out how to get the flanger mono to do what I want it to do. Okay, this one really caught my eye for some reason, and I don't even know why, because I don't use flangers. I don't even think I've tried the flangers in the Tone Master Pro yet. But this seemed to be kind of like an investigative thing, and I thought, well, can the Tone Master Pro's mono flanger sound like the Boss BF3? And should it? I don't know, maybe it's because I've never used a BF3 before, but I really have no expectations about what either one are supposed to sound like. So I'm gonna put the Boss pedal on one side, the Tone Master Pro on the other side, and do, you know, your basic compare and contrast. First thing I did was snag an original BF3 off of Reverb and I got it for a great price, which is cool because once I'm done with this project, if I don't feel like hanging on to that pedal, I can sell it and probably get my money back. It arrived around a week later in great shape and I hooked it up to the power supply on my Tonex board because <laughs> I had no idea how to change the battery on it. I thought you took off the bottom plate, but no, 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 no. So what I did was I downloaded the manual and found out that it has a thumb screw that you can loosen and then the pedal kind of like pulls apart so you can change the nine volt battery in there. But right now, you know, I'm just keeping it on the power supply on my board. But that just goes to show how familiar I am with Boss pedals, not very. You know, then I put together a test preset with the deluxe reverb amp, of course, the mono flanger, and then I had um, FX Loop 1 where I connected the BF3 through Loop 1. I also set up foot switches for them and switch links so that I couldn't have one on while the other one was on. Now it was time to see if at TS8 Lemonade was right or not. First, I turned on the real pedal and there it was, that lush, you know, just beautiful swooshing sound. I mean, and this was running in mono it could have been running in stereo. It just sounded so, so nice. And that was with all the knobs at the noon position. I tried the same thing with the mono flanger on the Tone Master Pro and put all the knobs at noon position, except for tap division. Nope, not even close. Once again, TS8 Lemonade was right. I got more of a shimmery, chorusy kind of sound but it was nothing like the lush, swooshing sound of a real flanger. Now, I know that the Tone Master Pro version is not a perfect one-for-one -one copy. You know, it was inspired by the BF3. But guys, it wasn't even in the same ballpark. Here, let me show you a demo that I made that shows the real pedal and then the mono flanger. Okay guys, for this first test, what I want to do is show you what the real BF3 flanger sounds like with all the settings at noon, and then the mono flanger with all settings at noon. Here's the real pedal. Here's the mono flanger, same settings.
One more time with the reel. And then again, the mono flanger. So I decided while I was at it, may as well try the 70s flanger, the electric flanger, and the stereo flanger. Now, I wouldn't expect any of them to really sound like the boss pedal, but if you put the rate at noon, none of them sounded usable unless you wanted some kind of little startling effect for something. But it's nothing that you would consider, you know, a basic flanging sound. Here's a demo of all those pedals with all the settings at noon. Now for this test, I want to show you what the 70s flanger, the electric flanger, and the flanger stereo sound like with their settings at noon. Here's the 70s flanger. Here's the electric flanger with all settings at noon. And here's the stereo flanger. As you can tell, they're not very usable. Now, I'm not going to go and buy an MXR flanger or an electric mistress just to prove my point, but I would imagine the Tone Master Pro versions do not sound like their real world counterparts, especially if all the settings were made exactly the same. Now, can you still get close to the Boss BF3 sound? Yeah, but with a qualifier. When you set the rate on the mono flanger down to 0 0.1, yep then it starts to sound like a real flanger. But that's the lowest it can go. And that's comparable to the real pedal set at noon. So in other words, if you wanted to get the sound like that Eddie Van Halen used on and the cradle will rock, you know, the intro part, there is just no way to do that on the Tone Master Pro. On the Boss BF3, set the rate to 10, turn the resonance up all the way, you're, you know, you're most of the way there. It's that easy. I made a preset that you could use for the intro to And the Cradle Will Rock. Now first, here's the flanger mono. Here's the real BF3. You can just hear how slow and deep that is. And the flanger mono, this is as slow and deep as it gets. At TS8, Lemonade also said that he's using the electric flanger right now because he can't get the mono flanger to sound the way that he'd like it. So maybe we should all put that on the wish list on the Discord server. Please fix the rate on the flangers. I mean, they've updated the 5150 amps and the British 800, so I'm sure they can update the rate on the flangers too. But what are we supposed to do in the meantime? If there's one saying that I've heard over and over in the audio world, it's listen with your ears, not with your eyes. Now, at first, that doesn't make sense because how in the world are you supposed to be listening with your eyes? But we do it all the time. We look at our pedals. We look at our amp settings. We look at the Tone Master Pro settings. We take a look at wave files on our recordings. We're looking, looking, looking instead of listening, listening, listening. 
I've even heard Cliff Chase from Fractal say not to expect perfect one-for-one -one comparisons. For instance, if you have the rate set at noon and maybe the uh, depth set at 10 o'clock on the real pedal, don't expect those same settings to work on the virtual pedal. It's not going to happen. So instead of using those settings, turn the knobs on the virtual pedal until it does start sounding the way that you want it. So what can we do to recreate the actual BF3 sound? In my opinion, the electric flanger really does sound a lot closer than the mono flanger. Listen to this side-by-side -side demo and tell me what you think. Okay, with this test, I want to show basically how close the electric flanger can get to the real flanger. And this is again, the real flanger with the settings at noon. And then I've taken the electric flanger and changed the settings to try to match that. So here's the real flanger. Now here's the electric flanger, and I've taken the rate and dropped it all the way down. Again, the real flanger. and the electric flanger. Now, I'd call that pretty close, but then again, like I said, I, I don't use flanging, so some of you guys that do use it, you might be laughing and saying, not even close, bud. I mean, I don't know, guys, this is just one of those times where I really don't feel like I have a decent solution. I mean, right now, my suggestion to at TS8 Lemonade is use the real BF3. If you can, if you have the stage space for it, yeah, use the real pedal. But if you don't have the stage space, use the electric flanger and turn on a boost pedal at the same time. You can set up one foot switch to turn on the flanger and the boost pedal with just a little boost on it so that when you turn it on, you get that little volume raise too. And you guys that use flangers, tell me what you think and if you have a better solution. I'd love to hear it. And of course, as always, if you have any other questions or suggestions, send them my way. I get to them as soon as possible. All right, guys, I will have all new content this Friday. You do not want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Alrighty then, have a great week and I will see you on Friday.